See, right in this, in this, in this branch here, there's a history of the infestation. Thank you. We hope to collect twigs with the gall wasp in them, and then we will dissect the twigs back over several years worth of growth to, to learn about how the infestation has changed over the last several years. So we know the infestation has been cooking here for some years, and we hope to recreate the history of that infestation by dissecting the twigs and counting the number of live adults, the number of exit holes, the number of galleries that were formed by immature gall wasps, that, that failed to survive to, to adulthood and produce exit holes. So in this way we can get a fix on the changing population over time. The wasp creates these cavities, these holes right here, and it plants its eggs in there. They develop into larvae. They turn into pupa, which I might be able to find right here. This looks like a pupa, which is a hard shell. That's her best one yet. And then it becomes a fully formed adult. So now the question is, when does this adult emerge? The problem is really severe. It's caused um, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of trees to die here on, um, on Mother's Vineyard. So you can show you aerial photos with lots of dead trees. So it, and what's even scarier is that the trees take a long time to die. So we could have many trees die in the future that are, that are infested, but they look healthy now. So we know this problem has spread to Rhode Island, it's spread to Cape Cod, and it's affecting black oaks in particular in all of those locations. That, that is the main hardwood tree in all of those regions. So it's a very severe problem, and we need to get understand it as soon as we can if, if we're going to have any hope of doing anything about it. Keep going. Yeah, let's keep going here.